Um, almost all students get a truckload of advice from me on setting things out and clearly communicating um, their reasoning. Now, I guess my first piece of advice, if you get a lot of comments on this, is just take everything I say in moderation. You do not need to be completely perfect on this. Um, so I'm always saying to students, if they've written this, the, the fraction line isn't long enough, and you know, it's a bit nitpicky. Um, so I'm saying take this in moderation. Now, if I've pointed that out maybe eight times over the course of the year, maybe that indicates that it's time to really fix that, or maybe, alternatively, it's an indication that no matter how hard you try, you're not going to be able to remember to make your fractions line long enough, and maybe you just need to let that go. What I'm saying is, do not feel you need to be absolutely perfect at this greet this whole business with a sense of moderation. But equally, you do need to take it seriously. Um, now, I'll help you out there. If there's an aspect of setting out which is really, really important, then I'll put a priority code of one, two, one, two or three next to it. If you see a one, two or three next to it, I'm telling you that my experience is that that has cost people marks by allowing lazy thinking or by um, not sufficiently enabling the student to understand their own work if they need to come back to it later in an exam. Um, so, by all means, treat this whole business with a sense of moderation, but you also have to take it seriously um, because it does lead to lost marks. Now, um, in terms of practical advice, um, there are various exercises that I've written um, that are all about practicing patience. So, I've got one about arithmetic and one about the quadratic formula. I recommend. Um, doing those exercises um, because they are um, good training in setting things out, particularly in terms of lining things up vertically and only making one or two changes at a time. Um, my fourth recommendation would be um, to just think about particular mistakes you make on this. So this is related to these comments that have one, twos or threes next to it. It might be that in general you're good at setting out, but that um, there are particular things that you do wrong. If those particular things that you do wrong, so for example 1137, if you see that's a 1137A, then a B, then a C, then a D, then an E, um, then it might be that the reason why you're bad at setting out in general is in fact because you're bad at adopting that piece of advice in particular, in which case um, get good at that, which in turn leads to my fifth piece of advice, which is those sorts of things are exactly the kind of thing that should go on a top ten mistakes list that you consult before an exam or even write down at the start of an exam and which you then consult before starting each question. But obviously that's for significant things that you're doing over and over again.